Hello guys, my name is Mohammad Ghaznavi. I am one of the OG trainer with this MNM Institute. So today I am going to discuss with you about your problem that you guys are facing in reading Part C. We will be helping hand to share some strategies and techniques that how can you sort it out to get it done in the first attempt to pass your Part C of OET reading. So right now on the screen we have one random test we have opened from the our data pool. Uh, it's official OED sample test. So you can see the first question on the screen right now. First of all, it is quite important for you to understand the question itself. In the first paragraph, what point does the writer make about CVD? So as the question indicates, it's a generic in nature question. So we may not have the answer at one point. We can have, by the way, as well. But you have to understand the main idea of that whole paragraph. So we should go to the paragraph first uh, and then we'll come back to the questions right so by the way uh, start reading from here first paragraph you can see uh, when we read the paragraph it in cause for death for both men and women in the United States according to this EHE by the E2030 the prevalence of cardiovascular diseases in the USA is expected to increase by 9.9 percent so what we are getting from the first line that CVD is generally increasing and the prevalence of both heart failure and stroke expected to increase by approximately 25%. So, uh, heart disease is increasing much more faster than your uh, CVD, right? Worldwide, it is projected that CVD will be responsible for our 25 minute deaths per year by 2025. And yet, although several risk factors are non modifiable, the majority of contributing factors are amenable to the intervention. These include elevated blood pressure, high cholesterol, smoking, and so on. Anyhow, now we can go to the question. We like to ask yourself uh, to work on the method of elimination. For example, if you can take the main idea, they have made uh, a, a comparison, by the way, between the CVD and other cardiovascular uh, diseases, like CVD is expected to increase by 9%. And you can see, measures to treat CVD have failed to contain its spread. That has not been discussed anywhere. So we cannot write it down, this thing as an answer. This is elimination. There's a potential for reducing overall incidence of CVD. I don't know, like, they were discussing some other thing related to increase of CVD. So they have not discussed anything about the overall incidence. Right now, I will consider it's a wrong answer. And I'll come back to you how it's right. By the way, it's right answer, but I'll show you how. Effective CVD treatment depends on the patient cooperation. No, we have not. We have not something like that in the paragraph. General factors are likely to play a great role in controlling CVD. They have not discussed anything in about the genetic factor in the first paragraph. We have this option only, and you can see that how can I select B as answer? Inside the paragraph, everything was related to the, you know, like increase. And uh, they were saying the reduction of overall incidence. This is quite surprising and challenging for you people. But how can we solve this issue? We'll go to the question paragraph again. So by the time, we were able to negate all these three options, but we were not able to select B as the right answer. We can go there. And from this line, yet, although several factors are non-modifiable, these are the factors, the majority of contributing factors are amenable to the intervention. This is a potential. By the way, indirect way. You can see, confusing part for you people will be that they are talking about the increase of CVD, you know, like increase of uh, failure and stroke expected by 25%. Then CVD will be responsible for 25 million deaths per people. So everything is uh, toward this side that it's increasing. And the second part of the statement was that they, this, there is a decrease in the CVD. But... The word potential was quite, you know, qualifying word for this question to get it done. So from this word, uh, you know, like uh, this include this this line. Sorry. Yet, although several risk factors are non-modifiable, such as age, male, gender, and so on, the majority of contributing factors are amenable for the intervention. So we can see that we have a potential in the decrease of uh, CVD incidence. So from this way, you can select this as an answer. Initially, it might be time taking for you to select the right answer just because of the fact because elimination might take time. The two things that you have to work on in this strategy, 
First of all is to work on your short term memory so that you can retain the information when you are reading the paragraph. As you have the question, you have the paragraph, you will go up and down. You may have to see the question once and the text once and then you're coming back and again totally a waste of time. So remember that important thing will be is to remember the question or at least the keyword from the question. And when you read the paragraph, take a big main idea inside the paragraph, what it is about. Again, if you are struggling with understanding, you know, like people just focus on the techniques and they just want to have a shortcut there. If you're struggling with understanding, first work on your understanding. And then even if you have, uh, you are proficient in English reading, still this method is, is somewhat challenging to practice the method of elimination. Anyhow, under stress, under pressure. Yes. So we can go for the next question. Okay. So second question on the screen right now. The plus point about the OET that they will guide you where you have to look for. In the second paragraph, what does the writer say about inactivity? Again, a kind of question that might be uh, more focused towards something to extract the gist from the paragraph. So we will go to the paragraph and then we'll try to find what the writer is telling us about the inactivity. So when you start reading this paragraph, by the way, the second paragraph, here is go, yes. So from the second paragraph, in continuation of the previous uh, discussion, they're discussing about inactive or sedentary behavior has been associated with numerous health condition and a review of several studies has confirmed that prolonged total sedentary. So basically, we can see that they're discussing everything about the inactivity life side, okay? The what cardiovascular effects of late time, physical activity are compelling and well documented. So by the way, they are talking everything about the inactivity. You have to read it again in full. Educate physical layer activities like walking, swimming, cycling, or stair climbing done regularly have been shown to reduce type 2 diabetes. So by the way, we can see there, first of all, they try to define the what is the inactive or sedentary behavior and how it has been associated with uh, different diseases. So, in simple language, inactive or sedentary lifestyle has a direct relationship with different diseases. And in the last part that we just said, by improving your lifestyle, by adding those activities, will help you to control certain diseases such as type 2 diabetes, cancer, falls, fracture, depression, and so on. So, improvement in physical function and weight management have also been shown along with increase in cognitive function. So, First part, they discuss about the inactive and sedentary lifestyle do have some effect on your health. And by adding the, you know, like exercise and, uh, you know, different type of exercises will help you to settle different things such as type 2 diabetes, uh, depression and so on. So, we can understand the main idea of the conversation. Now, we can go to the paragraph and we'll try to end. The role of development of CVD varies greatly from person to person. I don't think so that they have discussed anything about that. Its level of risk lies mainly in the overall amount of time spent out, uh, inactive. So it was there because they were talking about the time you spend as a like uh, inactive time you spend. So it would have a negative consequences by the way. Sorry for that. So the first statement was not there. You can see it was not there. Its true impact has only become known with advanced technology. Now, they have not discussed anything like that. Its long-term effects are excavated by a certain medical condition. If it has not, they have not made a relationship between the fact that diabetes or heart condition is going to excavate it. But it was written another way around that by doing the uh, exercises or modifying your lifestyle from sedentary to active will help you to settle the uh, problem that you may have with reference to the diseases. So now we have this line, its level to risk lies mainly in the overall amount of time spent inactive. It is the answer, by the way. But how? We can go to the paragraph again. We can see how it can be the answer. Yes, from this line, behavior has been associated with numerous health conditions and review of several studies has confirmed that prolonged total sedentary lifestyle, measured objectively via an accelerometer, has partly uh, adverse relationship with the cardiovascular. So basically, the main idea over here is the amount of time you spend as an inactive do have a lot of consequences related to your cardiovascular death and so on, cardiovascular disease, sorry. So, you can see, this is your right answer. The level of risk lies mainly in the overall amount of time spent being inactive, as it was written in that line. Now, we have the next question. 
that we like to discuss. The writer mentioned London bus driver not to what? So this is a keyword because the paragraph has not been mentioned over here. So the question is that why writer has mentioned another way around. I will read then the question. Why writer has mentioned the London bus driver? What he want to show? Okay. So from here, seat bound bus driver in London experience more coronary heart disease than mobile conductors working on the same buses. It's in the continuation of the previous thing that the line, last line, that writer is giving a suggestion. Improvement in physical function and weight management have been shown along with increase in cognitive function, uh, sorry, increase in cognitive function, quality of life and life expectancy. So by the way, in the last paragraph, the main agenda or the main point of view that was discussed was like a person who spent more time as an inactive will be having more consequences as a person who spend less time. And a person who is having inactive or sedentary lifestyle, if he can add the, uh, or he can modify his lifestyle by doing certain exercises, he will be able to manage the effects of being inactive. And the same is the case, I just exemplify that the person who is uh, having a job that in nature that is uh, sedentary in the same profession will be having chances to suffer more the coronary heart disease as compared to the people who are more mobile. 